president of that this organization, founder president of this organization. This this organization is my dream. I feel I feel that organize I feel it's not organization. This is my home from inside. So before open this organization, I used to work uh, workplace house as a teacher seven years. So during the working at that time, I found maybe in our community need this kind of place. And then how? Because some parents, they bring their child and left their child in a finished house. And then when she go back, she was crying. Why are you crying? And she said to me, ma'am, I have three, four kids. My husband is drunk God. He is not going to contribute anything at home. But with small kids, mm -hmm. nobody is going to give me work. If I'm not able to work, how I feed them? How I give them good environment for future? How I give them with education? So maybe if I'm not able to keep here in a friend's house, maybe they become a stupid children. Maybe they become a, uh, something bad person in future. When he was nine months, he joined the orchid garden. Uh, and then uh, when he was four months, father left him. When he was nine months, he, he started to come to orchid garden. And now he's still here? Now two years. Two years. So that's why I have got ideas of why I'm not going to open some uh, community daycare for pre-primary school for them, in the beginning of community, community daycare. So after that, I have got ideas. And 2006, in August 1st, so with my few members, we opened that organization, this organization, 2006 in August. Uh, they, that time, we had only 15 kids. But in August 1st, first six years will be complete. And then so during that time, maybe in here now, they care with pre-primary school together, 180 kids and then 65 children able to go to the outside private school to help up our kids. So what's the baby of the year called? Fawn! Spell Fawn? Just not reading and writing. And then there are things also our children make it on Friday, the craft class. So in the beginning, maximum children come here suffering from malnutrition. Maximum are. Yeah. Maximum are they were suffering from malnutrition. Now they are totally fine, very good. And then other one look. And who become a street children in the future? Tell me. Who become a street children? Pure orphanage, they have a place to orphanage house. They gave a chance to stay there. But who are the parents? But what kind of parents? Nobody knows. Physically, oh, yeah. children are parents. But if you go inside the room, are they getting good education? Are they getting good environment? Physically, they have a parent. But if you go inside, my God, you will be crying if you yeah. see condition of them. So, and these kids, if we are not going to protect them, this kind of kids who has a parents but only name of parents. If we are not going to protect them, they become a street children of 100%. 100%. If we want to stop to come the street children, please open this kind of daycare, open this kind of schools, please support them education support in future. Maybe in future nobody's come in street children. After coming street children, we, are, we have many NGOs and INGs who where they are working in after like street children, no? they have a home, they have a, some project. But I think oh, please don't give chance to go street. Protect in the beginning. So 
I, I feel I feel that too. That's why I want to open that center. How many people work here? How many people are in this place involved as workers? As workers, we have 14. 14 workers. 14, 14. And for 180 children? 180 children. 180 and then we have children. volunteers. Volunteers. Sometimes five volunteers, sometimes four, sometimes two, sometimes three volunteers. Are there also international volunteers? International, all of them. Only a few of them is in Leicester from here. They come here and work for how long time? Some three months, some two months, some six months, some seven months. Like and the daily work is, um, if I come as a volunteer, mm -hmm. let's say there are many people in, in Switzerland or some people they are interested to come here, to work here. Yeah. Um, welcome for them. Welcome for them. Welcome always. for them. Mail us, mm -hmm. and we'll, what time to what time would you like to come here, What? how long you want to stay here, what kind of work would you like to do in here. First I have to ask that one. Okay. So then after that I can arrange them to volunteering here. Because of that, our volunteering, so we are able to get lots of fun. Because of they are doing volunteering few months, yeah. and they're asking, Vina, what do you need? If maybe other countries, people volunteer, who wants to volunteering in Nepal, if they want to come Nepal, wants to volunteering, please welcome for them. We are going to, Orchid Garden, going to make them place to stay, to uh, work with us. That is the big thing for Orchid Garden, big thing for Nepal also. They jump the class from here and jump because of her age. Jump the classes now. She has got first position in her outside the school. That school is very impressed with us. Yeah. Okay. So this comes to deer. What is the baby of a deer called? A farm. So only who has lots of money, they have many choices, no? But our kids, they don't have choices. Then why? Why? How much I am able to give them? Why I am not going to give it? Give it them. So we have a computer classes for bigger one. We have a clay class. We have a dance class. We have a art class here. Yeah. How many hours a day you work here? So maybe 24 hours I'm here. You're 24 I'm here hours I'm staying nearby, that flat, I'm nearby their flat. So 24 hours I'm here. I'm still sick, but I wake up. Human being. Good in Nepal, I think, need some great, good human being children needed in futures. Yeah. I think I want to make my kids to that level to who make a who make a rules and regulation. Lunch for all kids like every day with a volunteer and uh, teachers and students, 200 children. Uh, people, we are getting lunch here. Countries, how to love so their countries. 
So if you ask about two years old, I'm going to ask you if we asked, we are desert Nepali. We love desert Nepal. That kind of thing I teach from the beginning. Now, and then I asked her why you are going to show, how you are going to show your country's love. They told being honest, being a hard worker, being educated, respect old one, uh, loved smaller one, uh, active, always be active this way. I teach them to showing love towards others. <laughs> Chit 